Hey, what's going on? It's James Canzanella, your Affilio Hero, and in today's video, as you can see in front of you, we're going to be looking at how to increase affiliate marketing conversions in three great ways. In fact, if you want to go ahead and fill in the blanks, try and figure out what they are right now before I get started with them, feel free to do that. Also, if you're new to this channel and you love affiliate marketing or affiliate marketing, feel free to subscribe as I will be doing many more related videos like this when it comes to affiliate marketing, internet marketing, software, social media, and all that other great stuff. Don't forget email marketing. Email marketing is fun too, right? And for anyone else who is not new here, Great to have you back. Great to see you. How you doing? How you been? Good? Awesome. Okay, cool. <laughs> so let's continue on to the first one. Now, I've actually talked about these previously, probably not all in one video, but every now and then I'm like, hmm, what tip can I come up with today that I can share with you? And this is the one that came to mind. So let's do it. Because when you have an affiliate offer and anytime you can increase your conversions, that's a good thing. Let's say you're you know, you're promoting something and you're converting at 1%. That's one out of every 100 people. You double that to 2%, your income doubles. You see what I mean? So the first one anyway, features going to blank. Benefits, okay? Whenever you are, well, let me retract a little. Affiliate marketing is all about recommending offers to people who want slash need them the most, okay? So for the most part, you're going to be reviewing, you're going to be recommending, you're going to be looking into them, you're going to be checking them out, you're going to be demoing, whatever it's going to be. You're going to be doing a lot of things when it comes to these offers, okay? Features are cool, but they're not as cool, they're not as sexy, they're not as awesome as benefits. I remember I did a video where I kind of went off on this back when I was a personal trainer before I was on unemployment. I remember uh, I was walking through a gym and, uh, you know, I wanted to get started with it. First and foremost, they had like the worst uh, starting process. I was like, hey, I'd like to get a membership here. And the person's like, okay, let me show you around. And I'm like, no, I just want to sign up right now. I know what your gym's like. And she like insisted that I do that, which is one of the dumbest things ever, okay? Anytime someone is looking to like get started right away and they want to like skip all the stupid stuff, like you let them get started right away. Like they could have literally lost the sale because I'm like, no, I've seen your gym 500 times. I don't need to get a walk around. Anyway. So the girl ended up doing a little, you know, showcase walk around and it only got worse because all she was talking about was their quote unquote amazing features. We've got these new machines over here and our barbells are made out of gold and <laughs> I'm making that up, but, and we've got this here, we've got our new state of the art equipment and blah, blah, blah. All she was talking about was features and I'm like, I don't care, especially for the fact of the matter, I already know it's in your gym, but even if I was someone who hadn't been in that gym before, none of that matters, okay? Given the fact that I was a personal trainer before, I will give you a perfect example. Let's say she was walking someone through who was like 70 years old. They might have arthritis. Maybe they have a bad back. They have bad knees. Their joints hurt. Whatever, right? Okay. They got a lot of stuff going on. So if that woman was kind of guiding th someone through that process, they might say, you know what? We've got this brand new state of the art uh, elliptical. And that's beneficial because it's actually a very smooth workout because it puts no pressure or stress on your knees or tendons. So what that means is that you can actually have a great pain-free workout while at the same time being able to burn calories and obviously increase your cardio and your overall health. The person would be like, holy crap, that's awesome. Okay. That's one of my favorite comparisons when it comes to features and benefits. Okay. Features is what it has. Benefits is how it obviously benefits you. Okay, or the person or whoever else or whatever product you're going to be going through. So you need to think about this all the time. I think I talked about this as well. A little statement that you can put after it is this is beneficial because this can help you buy dot dot dot. Just keep that in mind. That'll be a great way to segue into features and benefits. For example, like software. Uh, like this software has like 200 templates to choose from. Someone's like, that's cool. But they might be thinking in the back of their mind, like, how can that help me? Like, why is that so beneficial? Don't even let them have that seed of doubt or even question that in the first place. You can say, well, this has 200 templates and that's actually helpful because it allows you to get up and running much quicker. You don't need to start from scratch. You don't need to stare at a blank landing page. Pretty much you choose the template that you like, you click on it, everything is already in there and pretty much all you need to do is edit the text around and then add in your autoresponder. That means it's so much quicker. And like I said, you don't have that pain of staring at a blank landing page wondering where you should start and pulling your hair out. Okay. Do you see how I really embellished on that? This is something you always need to keep in mind when you are going through products, offers, services. It doesn't matter what it is, even if it's like a golf club. Okay. Let's say I love talking about golf. We're bringing up golf again. Uh, so let's see. 
this uh, golf club is much lighter than all the others, okay? And they might say like, okay, that's pretty cool. So what that means for you is that you don't need to like swing out of your shoes. In fact, you can even swing slower. Aside from the fact that it's much lighter, it has a much bigger sweet spot. So it gives you much more uh, room to make error or whatever you say. Like there's a bigger sweet spot, so it's harder to, you know, shank it, whatever it's going to be. So whatever you're talking about, make sure you connect it to a benefit. I know not always, you're not going to need to do it every single time, but the fact of the matter is when you're reviewing something, usually you're going over the key aspects. For example, like automation when it comes to email marketing. Well, uh, let's say get response. They have great uh, autoresponder feature and someone's like, okay, cool. What else? Okay. And this is beneficial once again, because it allows you to send emails around the clock. Even when you're not at the computer, so you can pretty much insert one email at a time and then go do your own thing. It takes care of the automation factor for you. Instead, you don't even have to hire someone to do it. This software does it completely for you. Okay. Do you see how much more beneficial it sounds that way? That's a great way to quote unquote sell more without sounding like, Hey, I'm a used car salesman, man. This is the best thing ever since sliced bread. Okay. You know what I mean? So features and benefits. I've talked about that before. I'll, I'll continue to talk about it cause it's very important. Okay. Next we have complimentary, not biscuits, but if you guess biscuits, you're kind of close. Starts with a B bonuses. Okay. Given the fact this is about affiliate marketing in general, this channel, we do talk a lot about affiliate marketing. What comes along with affiliate marketing is going to be affiliate marketing bonuses. Wow. Say that a hundred times fast. So complimentary bonuses, um, they have to be complimentary for the fact of the matter is that one of the biggest things that you can look for is what is the initial product missing? Okay. Think of Swiss cheese. All right. Swiss cheese got some holes in it. Okay. How can we fill in those holes? Okay. Cause no product is perfect. Although some of there are pretty close to perfection in what they do. Okay. There are always usually a few like unicorn softwares and products and offers out there. But, uh, in terms of Swiss cheese, you're looking to fill in the gaps, fill in the holes. For example, let's say you have a workout program. It talks about everything. Okay. It's like, a uh, workout program when it comes to losing weight, for example, it tells you the reps, the sets, the rest time, uh, the best time to go, uh, motivation to getting to the gym, and so on and so forth. Everything else it's about, it's geared towards weight loss. Uh, they talk a little bit about food and eating, but for some odd reason, they don't give you any type of diet plan, okay? So you're looking at it from a complete perspective, or right? right, it gives you this, this, and this. What else does it need? So for this one, this might need like a nutrition plan. That would be a great bonus because it accommodates what the person is already getting and it adds a little bit more. Like I say, you're usually looking for the holes and this doesn't make a product bad that it has holes. It's just something that's going to make the person's life much easier when they pick it up from you. That's why bonuses are so great because usually they're unique and it allows them to have a much better buying experience knowing or given the fact that if they're buying something and they're not getting bonuses versus they're buying something and they're getting a lot of related bonuses that are going to help them out. Heck, even like tutorial videos. Okay, this could be a hole sometimes with products where maybe the training isn't as great or maybe you get someone going in and actually doing a training walkthrough. I know people love over-the-shoulder walkthrough videos. I've done so many of those in my online career. Well, I'll actually go through and walk someone step-by-step. -step. Literally, you just follow my mouse, follow my screen. This is exactly what you need to do. Uh, and it's gonna make, once again, like the process much easier for someone, okay? And what is this down here? Hmm. Oh yeah. I'm like, what is this right here? This is the third one. I'm like, why is it a random line there? I forgot that was going to be the last one. Okay. Got a little off track, but let's keep going. So complimentary bonuses, once again, uh, for s some odd reason, if someone is all about paid traffic, that's good. I'm sure like they have a, a product that's really good. It's really hard to think and type at the same time. Let me do this paid traffic offer. Okay. So just because they don't talk about free traffic doesn't make the product bad at all. In fact, you know, it focuses on one main thing, but sometimes there's going to be people who want to like start with free traffic and that would be a great bonus to offer. So it could be a free traffic bonus. Okay. You see what I mean? It complements it, but at the same time, it doesn't make like the product bad because usually what makes products so good is they focus on one thing and only one thing and they do it really well. There are many exceptions, but that's just an example. Okay. So that was numero uno. This can be done also, also features benefits. That's everywhere. That's social media, that's blog posts, that's videos, that's emails, that's reviews, that's whatever it's going to be. Complimentary bonuses. Obviously that's going to be used whenever you get some bonuses going on. And last but not least, we have results. Okay. 
Nothing sells better than results. I'll put that here. Nothing sells better than results. Now, sometimes this can actually be a little bit more challenging uh, in terms of like actually getting results. Uh, I still remember a product I did. Uh, the reason why this probably got to do this so well is because I had probably a month to review a specific product where I actually went in and made like a few hundred dollars within that time period. And the fact that like I could get a product that quickly, you know, make money uh, and actually use that in my review, you know, it was huge. It was a massive hit. Plus I added complimentary bonuses. I talked about the benefits and so on and so forth. But results are one of the best ways of being able to obviously recommend something because because it comes so much easier to promote because a lot of times people will have that like shred of doubt in the back of their mind. They're like, eh, I don't know if I can, you know, possibly get results with this. Maybe, maybe not. But it's one of those seeing is believing things where if other people, you know, do it, then you get the idea that you can as well. So this doesn't have to be anything major. I mean, even if you are, let's say we're talking about weight loss. Obviously, if you just got like a weight loss thing uh, and you just got it recently, you're not going to be dropping a million pounds very quickly. In fact, it'll be pretty slow and steady if you're doing it right. Uh, but just the idea of when you're getting started with something, you can still change a lot of bad habits. Say I'm like three days in, I'm loving it. Uh, the course has been great. You know, say if you got a course, it's allowed me to change the way I think about food. I'm not like stuff in my face and I'm already loving the way I feel about myself. Even when I look in the mirror, despite the fact that it's too soon to see weight loss results, I love the results I've seen in my personal energy and how I wake up in the day with more energy and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of different ways to see results. So also when it comes to software, you can t talk about results maybe when it comes to simplicity. I mean, think of it this way. If it took you one week to create like an entire funnel and now it takes you seven hours, that is a huge difference, okay? Even though we didn't get results in terms of like maybe leads yet or sales yet, these are just other ways of doing that. So the more results that you can talk about, the better. Okay, so try and incorporate that into whatever you're going to be recommending. Like I said, if you can't get any results into it, that's fine, but it's going to be a really big way of increasing conversions because imagine if Affiliate A talks about features and benefits, gives complimentary bonuses, and that's it. And then the other affiliate talks about some really juicy benefits, gives amazing complimentary bonuses, and then even talks about results that they've had with the product. And not only that, they make a case study out of the results they've got, and then they added it to a complimentary bonus. You're talking about a serious package when it comes to an affiliate marketing recommendation, okay? You've literally hit the bullseye on all three of these. And that's really what's going to allow you to increase your conversions. And it doesn't even matter what anyone else has. If someone comes across something like that, they're like, I don't even need to check out the competition. I'm getting this because it's got my name written all over it. And I know it's really going to help me out. It's truly unique. And that's the power of affiliate marketing. When you can do a lot of these things right over time, then of course, get traffic to it. It's really going to help you out when it comes to increasing your affiliate marketing conversions. And that's pretty much just about it. So I hope you got some good information or a few golden nuggets when it comes to increasing your affiliate marketing conversions. As always, I'll put a cheat sheet down below in case you haven't gotten that. I'm sure you'll love it. And that's about it. I'm James Canzanella. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.